you know? And you come back and you have perfect square right in here. And this motion on the one looks like this. Why we need this is sometimes your hands get pinned up and you need to learn how to, you know, push someone in a different way. Yeah, let me use you again. <clears throat> Something's happening here and this guy's got a pock here, let's say, and he's able to push me forward and jam me up. I need to be able to come this way. Okay? So again, I'm here. He was able to rush me forward and I'm, I'm jammed up. So I need to be able to unjam myself. Does it work like he jams me up? Does it work for me to push him back like that? You say no. But what that movement means is if he jams me up, maybe I can step back like this. But what if I don't have the, 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 the ability, or the, 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 what if it's not appropriate for me to move back and I'm here, he jams me up and I'm here, I've got to learn how to come around and trap that. You know, it's like the sinking, we call it sinking hands. I'm here, he jams me, whoa, it's too quick. All right, I can fold this way and I keep going. But he's here and he jams me up, right? Go push. I might even do this too. That's this part. This part <coughs> is to understand when you can't move. This part is to understand when you can move. So I'm here, I'm jammed up, whoop, but I can do this. But if I can't move back, then I better know this. Close quarters, you know? So you have to learn this part. Everybody got that detail? So we'll do that one more time. Here, come in, let those elbows drop, bring them around, chop. We understand something about center tap. One, this section we play it soft and gentle, no matter how slow. Then we can also apply energy to this section, speed it up if we want. And then even the technique section, obviously we also can work with applying energy. That's part of our training. But the other part of our training, which we hate so much, is the slow and soft part of it. And if you want to get good at details, what do you have to do? Slow it up. You got to slow it up and take a good look at it. You know? Slow down, smell the roses. <clears throat> slow down and enjoy life a little bit. It can just blur right on by if you're not careful. <clears throat> Same thing applies with training in Kung Fu. Same thing applies with Wing Chun Kung Fu. Slow down. Don't miss the beauty. Look at the internal movements. The little inside movements, the inside power. Study those details and look at those little subtle movements that mean so much. If your body can get incredibly trained on very subtle movements, you would not believe how that transfers over into rapid movements. You can make rapid movements with perfect precision. 